Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at this puzzle here, which is called the Hanayama Cast Coaster. It comes in the usual Hanayama box and consists out of three single parts that need to be joined together in a way to create this shape or this shape as you can see it here. The difficulty of this puzzle is rated by Hanayama with four out of a maximum of five, uh, six, sorry. And um, I pretty much agree to this difficulty rating. I think if you do it the first time, it can be even more difficult. But um, the good thing on this puzzle is um, that you can do it several times. And if you do not know the trick how to do it, it's every time again a new challenge. It's made completely from casted metal in the usual Hanayama quality. And after the spoiler break, I show you how to disassemble and reassemble it. Okay, so let's have a look. The disassembly of this puzzle is quite easy. We just can take the parts apart like this. We get these three connected loops and that's it. Very easy disassembly. The reassembly is much more tricky and I learned a trick to do it because every time I tried to do it again I was struggling again and therefore I apply the following trick and I will explain it now in very detail. First I flip it around, we flip the puzzle around that the middle part here which has the marking coaster and Hanayama is upside down so you can see these two rivets over here. Then. We look out for the part, this one here, which has two loops here without any notches. And this part we move to the left side, the other part we move to the right side. So this part without any notches need to be here. And now, first, there are actually two steps needed, or three steps. First we need to understand how this part need to be aligned with this part. Then we need to understand how this part need to be aligned with this part. And then we need to also to understand how to both of them put together in a way that you can um, connect all of these three parts together because this is it cannot be done one after one. You will see in a minute why. We will start with this with this part here, which has no notches, and we flip it around, and it need to be positioned to the to this part in a way. That this area here with all these notches with four notches need to be below here okay so i will put it in put it below and i will align it also with this notch over here and this notch and if i do so i can just if it's properly aligned <laughs> i can just clip it in and it will connect like this now i have the problem i cannot connect this one because it's catched over here so no matter where i have this part in the puzzle it will always be stuck so we need to connect all of them all of the three parts together but first I'm gonna show you again how this part need to be aligned with this one for this we look out for the side that has five notches this one has five the other side has seven we take the side with the five notches up and we have here two different loops this one has two notches that are closer together and this one here has two notches that are far away okay and we concentrate now on these and we just get this part down here and we try to put this notch here close to the Hanayama sign and this notch a little bit more over here also we will align or let's say this will this I will do first and also we will align these two notches with the part okay so in the end it will look like this and the parts are connected so you understood now how to connect this one over here and how to align this one over uh, with this one now we need to as i said connect all together because the parts are let's say it's like knitted you know they go up and down above and below each other and um, therefore we need to connect them in a specific way so we do it the following way. We start again with this part, connect it in the same way as I described before, like this. 
but we will not clip it in. We will keep it maybe about 30 degrees twisted here to each other. And then we continue with this part, connecting it the same way as I described before. We take here the loop with the two notches that are more away than over here. We put it in here, in between these two parts, as you can see, twist it around. And then we put this loop through this piece. This is the key. So now they are somehow interlocked. And if I push them together, they can be very easily assembled. And that's basically the trick. To find it, yeah, as I said, I did it multiple times and every time I was struggling again. Therefore, at one point I said, okay, now I need to really understand how it works. And I learned how to do it. Now I know it and now it's easy for me. Without knowing this or learning this, it can be a challenge again and again and again. So it's a really nice puzzle, not only for solving it one time, but multiple times. This is actually one of my favorite Hanayama puzzles. And um, you can also use it as the same uh, as the name says, uh, as a coaster, but I would not recommend that because it's just too, it will scratch and yeah, it's not really a coaster, it's just a name. And if you like what you've seen here in this video, just check out the link in the description, support my channel. If you're interested to buy it by using this link and yeah, I will see you in the next episode. If you like this episode, just subscribe to my channel or just give me a like on Facebook or Instagram. Until next time, keep on puzzling.